Good evening. This is your psychic LG reporting from the United Kingdom. I want you to all sit back and relax and let's look into the looking glass to see what's in store for the next month or so. Hope you are all keeping well. And before I start, I want to send prayers and protection to everybody who is living over in the Florida area and the outskirts to protect them from Hurricane Ian. We are living in very strange times, guys. Well, in my last world prediction, I did say there was going to be great storms to hit the east and the west coast of the United States of America. And um, I also said that I seen the Atlantic, okay? And tonight, as I look into this crystal ball, into the looking glass, um, I'm seeing there's still more to come. And <clears throat> I do feel there's going to be a problem with floods. I'm getting the letter M. I'm getting the letter N. And I see a lot of different heavy rainfalls and possibly a lot of floods. Okay. Um, but I do see that there's another two major storms to hit possibly the USA and possibly um, across Europe and um, the UK as well later on in the year. Um, one of these major storms, I think it's, an, it's the next one to follow in from Ian, I see it's going to take like a dramatic turn. I want you to remember this. And um, I am getting the Atlantic and I'm getting the Pacific and I'm getting the Bermuda area. Possibly Eastern Pacific, okay? So you need to watch for this. But what I do feel is that there is going to be a lot of torrential rain to come, which is going to hit many states. And this second storm, I feel what's going to hit it's going to rampage through Europe. I'm seeing this in the crystal ball tonight. And possibly the UK could get the, the receiving end of it. So I want to say that there's a lot of rain to come. Lots of rain. Okay, and I'm getting October, November, December. Okay, what else am I saying? I want to say that 2022 is going to be one hell of a winter. And I said this last year and the year before. And I'm, I, what I am seeing is, I'm seeing ice storms, okay? Um, and I feel that this winter is going to go down in history. So we must prep, guys. It's very, very important that we prep. Um, problems with the pound is going to drop because of everything what's happened recently in the UK. And I do feel it's time that we invest in XRP. Okay, I don't know if there's anybody into XRP, um, but I do feel it's time that we do that. Um, but what I feel with XRP is that it's going to be very erratic this year, very up and down. Um, but by the end of the year, going into the new year, I see a boom. Okay, so you need to watch for that. Right, is it here? Is over? I'm feeling we're going to have some big news to do with around a, a blonde celebrity could be female male and female actually and um also somebody um i would say who's darker as well possibly a black um a black woman so you need to watch for this i see shocks in hollywood so watch for that okay what else am i saying in my last looking glass predictions where i said about the storms um, I did mention the East Coast and I said watch for over um, Virginia I'm getting I feel that very strong and I'm also getting I am getting the East Coast very very strong so I do feel that we've got the, the big one to follow from from Ian okay so I'm definitely getting a big daddy one and I'm getting the 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 letters N R A and P. So I don't know if these are to do with states or areas. Okay. 
uh, there could even be countries, but I'm, I'm feeling or people's names where there's going to be possibly um, big news coming out with them initials. So watch for that. But I'm feeling it's all around about the time we're getting all this crazy weather. Now, I've been saying this for a while now, for months, actually. It's I've been saying about watch for emails, watch for messages. And this is going to expose a lot of evidence. And guys, everything what's going on at the minute, especially to do with in the USA, it's just one big, huge rabbit hole. And it goes deep. And I'm seeing the DOJ files, but I'm getting something about private servers, which is going to be shocking. And it's going to open a hornet's nest. And I also feel there's a woman to come forward. Could be like some whistleblower or something. So watch for that. As I look at her hair, she's got like sort of like a reddy, brownie, fawny sort of um, chestnut hair. So watch for this woman. And also watch for the woman in the red dress. I've been saying this for a while now. Friday is going to be very stormy, guys. And um, in more ways than one. In more ways than one. And um, as you know, we've got like this special master thing, uh, what's happening at the moment with Donald Trump. And what am I getting here? I feel Friday, I don't feel that there's going to be any sort of evidence coming in from this. Okay, that's what I'm being shown. And what my ball showing me is there's no planted evidence. I'm just saying spinning, like on a spinning wheel and it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. So what I'm being shown here is no planted evidence will be produced. But evidence taken from mar -Lago will be produced. This is, this is huge guys, this. And I also said about Roger Stone, there's going to be massive involvements there. Um, stuff to come out about him. Um, so watch for data coming out about him. And um, it's like it's going to show that he's been in the middle of the, the January the 6th incident. As you also know, um, this has been talked about. Um, there's all sorts going on around Rudy Giuliani as well. And I do say there's a lot of trouble there as well. And I've been seeing this for a while with these two guys. There's going to be a lot to happen. So watch for these two to come onto screens. Okay. What else am I saying? Now... Back in 2020, okay, we're going to go back a, a little while here, two years. I said on this platform that Q was an inside job and it was put out there to divide America and the rest of the world as well. And I was ridiculed, I was bullied by this. And since then, there's been many big names which have come on to screens and in videos and said the same thing and I'm at the point now guys where I, I will not be silenced anymore it is a bug that has grown in the USA and I believe this is the, the core of the problem okay and this core is a virus that has divided America and I believe anyone who is not awakened fully has the potential to be sucked into this. Now, sometimes my visions can hurt or they can shock, but I'm going to say it again. And I've said this before. I've said this on my Twitch podcasts and on here. And I'm getting it similar to the Salem's witch trials, where you went back, you know, hundreds of years ago in the town Salem in the USA, there was an hysteria across the village, across the town, of a superstition. And there was ministers, church ministers, that murdered young innocent women, called them witches. And this, um, this sort of um, frenzy what took place, right, didn't just happen in Salem town. It spread across Europe and Old England. There was witch trials everywhere. In fact, I don't live far from where they used to do this. And I live in like Northumberland area, north of the UK. So superstition has never went away. Okay. 
and it is sort of like it's it's reinvented itself right it's sort of emerged again within the the creator of this radical movement knew how to knew how to get to the american people and it's all about unhealed wounds remember we are in the great awakening we are healing old wounds not just from our lives here but also our ancestors and there's been a lot of pain what's happened in the usa as you know um you know to do with the the slavery and to do with what happened to do with um, what they did to the native american indians but also the witch trials and we are in the millennium now and i believe that we are rewriting the new bible so we are healing our ancestors we have been in atlantis and we are coming out of atlantis and we are healing old wounds so this is a storm and this divide of the 21st century we are now witnessing the modern day millennium witch trials we've got to wake up guys so if somebody says jump off a bridge would you do it no you wouldn't but this movement believes that everything that is written okay this unfaced demon right is telling people to do things they would we all need to gather together and we need to raise the vibration on this planet because this unhidden snake is emerged again and i'm saying this is not going to end well guys i want you to remember right a bridge holds the key and I just feel, I'm, I'm worried that there's going to be more riots. That's what I'm worried about. Let's hope timelines can change. But like I've always said, when it kicks off, go inside and shut the door. My guides are saying we, we need mass gatherings and we, are, we need to raise the vibration, like prayers of healing for Mother Gaia. That's what we need to do. It's huge, guys, what we're in at the minute. It's absolutely huge. Okay, what else am I saying? Right, I said in my last world prediction that I could see, um, I don't know if it was the last one or the one before, that it might have been on Twitch as well, that I got a vision of Elton John. And when Elton John was on the news, that there was going to be big storms ahead. And as you know, Elton John's just recently been on the news there. Um, some award or something, or whatever he was on with Biden. Um, but anyway since then there's been the storms which has come in okay hurricane ian but i did say it wouldn't just be that type of storm it would be political storms and i just think it's all about to kick off guys i'm getting this really really strong um i don't know if anybody recently seen um pete was a buddha judge his latest speech on the border problems and I did say in one of my last world predictions that Pete Buttigieg will um, sort of come more into play. And his last speech was pretty strong. Um, and I do feel that he's going to come more stronger. And I would say it's around about the time of the midterms onwards. So watch for him rising, guys. Okay. The UK, Bank of England... And we've had like the latest turmoil what's been happening the pounds dropped and everything and it's been all worrying um we've just had the latest little mini budget by the tories and it's not looking good guys and i did say that they would give liz trust about like a hard time of it um and then of course recently the bank of england has had to intervene to to try to stop interest rates going up you know going through the roof I see another rise because I know like it's just recently dropped or something since the Bank of England's done something but I do see another rise and um, 
and I do see interest rates rising again. Give it a month, give it a month. So what we're now, we're in the end of um, September. By the end of October, there's gonna be more problems. I am seeing inflation and I do see lots of problems coming into Parliament. And I, I'm getting the Chancellor of Exchequer, is that Rishi Sunak? Or maybe I'm getting the two of them. Um, I see a lot of problems and I'm seeing them having a lot to see on the matter. There's a mess, guys. And um, I did say that Liz Truss had a mess to sort out. But things need to slowly unfold there and things are going to get very dramatic in the UK. But as you know, the UK has been under a lot of pressure. And I don't just see it's been to do with what Liz Truss has done. I think it goes beyond that. You know, the pressure from the Ukraine and other countries and, you know, COVID, everything. But what I do get is that um, November is going to be quite dark. And I see the, the pound dropping. Um, I don't see Liz Truss in for long. And I'm actually seeing more voting. February is very, very interesting. February of next year. Big question mark there, guys. And um, mark my words, huge changes to come into the UK and something about a UK leader. But what I'm also feeling is that I need to send healing in prayers around our little country uh, the United Kingdom because I'm feeling there's lots of floods to come especially down the lower part you know where it's flat like London like parts of that way Suffolk and that power cuts UK across Europe I'm feeling we're in for some sort of crazy crazy winter so we have to pray okay it keeps reminding us of when um, in the 70s when we had a lot of blackouts um, before we went into the EU and it's something like that again and I just feel we need to just um, even if we'll get candles in you know because it's going to be quite a cold winter as well now I'm going to share something with you guys which is really really weird I had the strangest dream last night and it, it was real it was so real it was like um, I was there yeah so I'm not saying that asshole traveled there but I felt I did and in this dream, I was standing on the sun, literally standing on the sun, looking down at earth. And I had my feet on the bed of the sun and it, it wasn't even, it was just warm. I felt I could stand on the sun. It was like liquid vapors and I'm standing there in space, looking down onto earth. I don't know if I actually connected with the sun or whatever, I feel I did. And she was, it's like she was crying out for help. She was saying she was dying. And as I looked into the horizon, I looked, there was huge waves, huge seas rising, coming over Earth. Now, my interpretation of that is that something is changing around our planet and the cosmos. And this is affecting our weather. This, it's like there's something they're not telling my guys, you know what I mean? There's more to this. And I'm, I'm seeing a lot of floods ahead. That's my fear. And I'm going to give you some numbers here, which I'm getting very strong. I'm still getting the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th. And the 1st, the 5th, and the 6th, and the 29th. And I see huge weather changes to come and major events which will take place around them numbers. Now, I normally look on no more than a year, so I would say these are close because I'm getting them really, really strong. Now, on my Twitch show on Sunday night, I looked into Putin's situation. I wanted to have a little nib and see what was going on. And I seen something really sinister. You can check it out. Um, the links in the description of this video. What I seen was somebody far worse standing behind him. And my guides are telling me tonight, I see, I'm seeing somebody close to him who is going to try and take him out. 
It's like his enemy is going to be so close. But there's somebody far worse behind him. Um, <clears throat> and I also seen on Sunday night Edward Snowden as I was doing um, remote viewing. Um, and he was sitting with Putin and his advisors in the Kremlin. I've seen this. I'm not saying this is literal, but this is what I've seen. Okay. Um, now, I thought he was under some sort of spotlight, like he was getting scrutinized. But it was the most weirdest situation. And obviously, the next day, I heard that um, apparently Putin has granted Snowden Russian citizenship. So it makes you wonder the rest of the stuff that I've seen, okay, in this Russian military base. You can check it out. It's, um, I'm not going to go any further with this because it's quite deep, but you can check it out on my Twitch, okay? So you just click onto the, the link in the description of this video and it'll take you onto the last podcast that I did and it's right at the end. So I'll go through a whole world predictions for nearly three hours and right at the end I do, um, or near the end, I do the remote viewing at the end. Um, it was bizarre. Um, but um, I do feel that we're going to hear something about him. It was it's it's quite detailed a remote viewing that I do. But I am seeing Putin going out, and like I said, there's somebody standing behind him who is far more sinister, and there's 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 something very sinister going on. Okay, but I'll let you check that out. Remember, this world isn't just multicultural. This world is multidimensional. Okay, and it's very like Stranger Things, what I've seen in this military base, underground military base in Russia. We are living in very mysterious times, guys. Very, very mysterious times. Okay, what else am I saying? Right, I do feel we just have to prep, and I'm also feeling that there's going to be a great rise in uh, problems with the meat industry, um, farmers. Now, I don't know if I'm looking into the end of the year or possibly um, into next, but it's just like one big roller coaster, guys. One big roller coaster. I'm also still seeing marching in the UK. And um, protests, like marching, it could be to do with the NHS, um, schools. I'm also getting teachers. Um, lots of different things all falling into place, which I've been seeing for the last couple of months. Um, and I am seeing something to do with problems with nurses over in the United States of America as well. One last thing. Okay, that I, that I feel is very, very important. Um, what is about to take place? It's something that we have never seen before. Okay. And all this chaos, what's going on at the moment. I just feel it's all distractions. It's literally happening, but it's distractions. I'm getting there's going to be more problems to do with the gas because obviously we've had all the problems with the pipelines, what's recently happened. And I am feeling there's problems with shortages and blackouts. Um, but I do believe that Putin's final finale, which is about to take place, something what he's going to do is going to be his downfall. Remember, it's somebody close to him. But what we will all witness amongst nations is the is the past. Remember this, guys, coming back around. And the words that I get is, the law is taken into his own hands. I want you to remember this. <clears throat> the question will be, it is, is it written in the Constitution? that the leader is the only one who can make an important global decision. Is it that? Is it written? 
because this what is going to take place who makes this most remarkable move right a scary remarkable move it will pay off and the question is can this person do this there's going to be a great argument about this but what i will say tonight is only god can judge okay and remember we are on earth now we are in the the you know the great spiritual awakening anything is possible welcome to earth guys because we are about to witness great great change i'll leave you there with a lot of love from spirit take care stay safe wherever you all are around the world okay as temperatures rise in the usa you watch things slowly unfold wherever you all are around the world stay safe and i'll be back on again soon this is your host psychic lg signing out goodbye now where am i i think i'm stuck on end screen Guys, I need to stop doing this asshole travelling. I keep getting stuck in the cloud. But anyway, I'm stuck in my end screen. So don't forget, subscribe to my channel and press the bell for new updates. The fairies, you know, we're always getting up to mischief. See you all soon. Bye now.